Find the exact coordinates of the point on the curve y is equal to e to the 2x, where the gradient is 5. So we know that if y is equal to e to the x, and we differentiate it to get the gradient function, you get itself dy by e to the x. What we don't know how to really do if y is equal to e to the kx, i in this case e to the 2x, what do we do? Well, later it will be shown that dy by the x will be ke to the kx. So all you do is you bring the 2 down in front and write down the same thing again. So if y is equal to e to the 2x, then dy by dx is 2e to the 2x. We require the dy by dx to be equal to 5, so we take that, put it equal to 5. So 2e to the 2x is equal to 5, and then we now solve this. We want exact coordinates, so we won't be using our calculator. First thing to do is to divide by 2. So you've got e to the 2x is 5 over 2. Writing that out. If we now take uh, natural logarithms of both sides, that means log to the base e of both sides, which we write as ln on both sides. This means log to the base e of uh, log to the base e. Then here we can apply a rule that we've already learned. Log to the base a of a to the x is equal to x. So we've got log to the base e of e to the 2x. So this, this just becomes 2x. And this side will stay the same. And then we'll divide by 2 or multiply by a half. And we get that x is a half ln of 5 over 2. We want the exact coordinates, so we're not allowed to use our calculator. Right, now we take that value of x, we substitute it back in here to get my value of y. So for y, for the y coordinate, we get y is equal to e to the 2 times my value of x, which is a half ln of 5 over 2. These 2's will cancel out. And we just get e to the ln of 5 over 2. Now, we have this rule that a to the log to the base a of x is equal to x. Well, we've got this situation here. a is e, and uh, log to the base a is ln, which is log to the base e, of 5 over 2. So we're just going to get that y is 5 over 2. So therefore, the coordinates are going to be the x-coordinate, which is a half ln of 5, comma, 5 over 2, and we found the exact coordinates rather than the calculated value. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find uh, the coordinates where the gradient on an exponential function has a certain value. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.